Breaking, North Korea just threatened to shoot down U.S. planes, tensions at all-time high. North Korea has officially threatened to shoot down U.S. bombers, even if they aren't over North Korean territory, according to North Korea's foreign minister. They claim that they have the right to do so, after Trump declared war on them. Tensions have been escalating between North Korea and the United States, but we aren't the only ones embroiled in this conflict. China, South Korea, Japan, and even Russia have expressed concern over the mounting situation and have collaborated to stop the rogue nation from developing nuclear weapons. The whole world should clearly remember it was the U.S. who first declared war on our country, North Korean Foreign Minister Ri Yong-ho told reporters in New York. Since the United States declared war on our country, we will have every right to make countermeasures, he said. New York Post reports that these countermeasures, include shooting down U.S. bombers. even when they aren't inside the airspace border of North Korea. The threats came a day after a North Korean parliamentary committee sent a letter to several international parliaments condemning Trump's saber-rattling. The letter sent Sunday condemned Trump, calling his speech at the UN last week ignorant. Trump threatened to totally destroy North Korea and its 25 million people and called North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un rocket man remarks that he reportedly ad-libbed while veering off script from his prepared remarks, which had been vetted by his top national security officials. While Israel's Netanyahu has called Trump's speech one of the best he's ever heard, liberal pundits have attacked him nonetheless. Many Americans and foreign leaders applauded President Trump's patriotic speech to the UN last week, noting that it was a refreshing change after eight years of Obama apologizing for the US. Pyongyang said Trump's comments were an intolerable insult to the Korean people, a declaration of war against the DPRK and grave threats to the global peace. If Trump thinks that he would bring the DPRK, a nuclear power to its knees through nuclear war threat, it is a big miscalculation and ignorance, read the letter published by the state-controlled media outlet KCNA. The U.S. had sent bombers and fighter escorts on missions close to the communist dictatorship in a show of strength as tensions escalated following Trump's increasingly bellicose remarks over the North's nuclear weapons program. So far, there have been no casualties in this increasingly tense conflict, but many don't expect this to last very long. North Korea only understands one thing, Trump said in reference to those who were advocating for diplomatic relations with the isolationist nation. So far, it seems that his analysis is spot on. Despite UN sanctions decimating the North Korean economy by over 70 percent, they have still refused to halt their nuclear testing program. Japan, South Korea, and even China to an extent, have made it very clear that they will not tolerate a North Korean crisis, and that any and all aggression will be met with swift countermeasures. Trump has also threatened to rain down fire and fury unlike which the world has ever seen, and while most men and women in our armed forces would rather avoid a physical conflict, it seems that a battle between the North Korean mini-tyrant and Hashemogat tweeting POTUS is inevitable. Evitable.